Uh, PB40 back with another Michael Zombies video here, and I'm going to show several different things in this game. I'm going to show some weirdness that goes on in a couple of spaces. <clears throat> I'm going to show you where the mystery boxes are. I'm going to show you how to get the Mew Kit Cola. And you need it with that little friend there. This I'm going to do with my little friend. So one of the weirdest things that goes on here, this is Teleporter Room A. The zombie tracking gets really messed up in here. And it might be a good place to end up camping with friends if you want to just camp. But notice, I'm over here trying to rebuild the window. And I open up the mystery box without even knowing it. <clears throat> so here I'm hitting F. And what happens? I end up grabbing the ray gun out of the box. And open it up again from way over here. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I just lost my big machine gun. But fortunately, I got a ray gun. So if I didn't get a ray gun, I'd probably be, be dead. If, you know, if I get... Ended up grabbing like a car 98 or something like that. I probably wouldn't have a chance. <clears throat> so I got a ray gun, which is what I like to have. I always like getting a ray gun. <clears throat> but you see the ray gun, it's caused me a lot of damage. The zombies are not hitting me. I've lost more than half my health. And it's just because of the ray gun. So the ray gun, even though it's a really great gun to get, you gotta be careful how you use it. You don't want to fire it too close to yourself. You end up damaging yourself. It's a much more effective weapon if you can shoot the zombies from a distance and kill them from a distance. Every time I fire it close, I see how much damage I just took. I just lost a third of my health. Almost half my health on that shot. <clears throat> so you got to be careful with the ray gun. You can end up killing yourself with it. It's the same thing with the Wonder Waff. You can kill yourself with the Wonder Waff or even the, uh, if you manage to get the, uh, the starter pistol papped up. It has explosive rounds and they'll take you down too. You gotta be careful with those explosive rounds that you shoot. So yeah, you can see how well the, how much the zombies uh, get confused in this space here. The tracking is uh, really needs some work in this area, and I made the devs aware of it. And they said they're gonna work on it, try to make it better. Don't know when, but we'll see. Hopefully, they'll get to it soon. <coughs> So the other things I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you where all the mystery boxes are located in the game. There's six of them. Six, six locations where the mystery box might spawn to <clears throat> after it flies off. And this is one location here in Teleporter Room A. I'm going to run off. I wanted to take the teleporter to keep these zombies trapped here, but I didn't have enough points. I only have enough points to pat my ray gun. So I'm running off to get the ray gun papped first. <clears throat> After I get my ray gun papped here, I'm going to go uh, throw one of my friends into the furnace. This is what you have to do to start the Easter egg hunt. <clears throat> you got to throw one of the little uh, exploding avatar guys into the, uh, into the furnace. But let's see, I, got, I don't have any points left. I was hoping to be able to come back here to the mystery box, but I didn't realize I was short on points. <laughs> I couldn't open it up. I'm sitting there, why can't I open it up? And I didn't look down and see how few points I had. <laughs> yes, I do have some senior moments now and then. <clears throat> so I, I kind of did another round in here, but I didn't uh, show the whole round. I just skip ahead here because uh, I want to save a little time. Now this time I am going to trap these zombies here. I'm going to leave a few zombies in here trapped by this generator. <clears throat> and uh, I do have enough points. I'm going to teleport out of here so the zombies stay trapped in this space. <clears throat> that they don't chase me around. So now to go run off and uh, I'm not going to worry about that bomb. I don't want to kill these zombies. I'm not going to nuke them. I want to keep them alive so I can, don't have them chasing after me. I want to keep them stuck in teleporter room A. So this is funny. I thought, well, hey, in this big open space, I could take my little friend here and just throw it in. No, no, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> you got blocked. You've been rejected. I try a second one again. Rejected. I think you had Patrick Ewing blocking that doorway or something. <laughs> so third one, you got to get right up close and aim down. <laughs> and I finally got the third one in there. Yay. <clears throat> Go 
So this is a location here. One of them shows up down below. And there he is right there. Now I'm showing this because you can't, uh, I want to let you know you can't shoot it with a ray gun or any of the uh, wonder weapons. You, you can't even shoot it with a regular gun. You have to get a papped gun, like papped machine gun, uh, papped rifle I think will work, or papped pistol. Don't know about shotguns, I think they probably work too. So anyway, I made this out of two videos. This is the second video. I came back here, I got myself a new uh, a new MG42, a bullet factory. <laughs> That's what they call it when you pap it up. And this is going to be my pap gun that I'm going to use to kill the, uh, the little guys. You got to find five of them. So now after I take out these zombies here in this round, I'm going to leave one to follow me a little ways. And I'm going to take you and show you where all the locations are where the mystery box might pop up after it flies off. And I'm also going to show you where these five little critters are that you got to go hunt down and shoot. So I'm going to leave one zombie alive, have him chase me around. And surprisingly, he stays right on my butt. I didn't think they could run that fast. Normally you can outrun these guys, but he just, uh, he stays right on me. So I'm going to start off over here in this first room to the right. This is where one of the locations are for the mystery box right here. It's one location where it may show up after it flies off. If you end up getting a little kitty and it takes off and you have to go hunt it down. I haven't noticed this. There's not any maps. Here's the other location here. And here's that zombie boy. He stayed right with me. <laughs> he wouldn't leave me alone. And this is the other guy up there in that pipe. This is teleporter room B. So that's actually the first one I've killed so far. Up there on that pipe, up on the wall. And I've shown you two mystery box locations. Now I'm going to get this guy over here in this corner that I couldn't shoot before. Now that I have a pep machine gun, I can take him out. Right down there. Now I'm going to show you another good place to camp because this area here is another area that has a lot of weirdness. So you have to go up here on this catwalk and this is another location for the mystery box where the mystery box can end up respawning. And it's a good place to camp because the zombies come right at you in a straight line down this little catwalk and you just take them out. And what's beneficial about them coming in a straight line is the bullets that kill the one in the front can end up going through and killing the ones in the back too. So it actually ends up conserving ammo if you can get a lot of zombies together in a row. I usually do that a lot too. I'll wait. You know, one zombie may start coming up and I may wait to the second one. See, the second one, I waited till he came up that the stairwell before I shot the first one. So that my bullets will go through the first one and do some damage to the second one. I could take him down easier or quicker. So now I'm going to show you what kind of weirdness you get in this space here, this area. <coughs> If you notice, there's a couple of zombies stuck up there in the grating to the right over there. And I'm going to leave those guys there while I go run off and get the other, find the other little critters and show you the other mystery boxes. And down here, you see how the zombies just get stacked up down here. They get stacked up sometimes on the inside of the room too, not just on the outside here. So I just take them out up here. Now I'm going to jump down. Hopefully those two guys that are stuck over there, they won't be, uh, I won't disturb them as I run off. They'll stay, stay stuck there. Now this location here next to the power generator, that's where the mystery box actually locates, or well, is actually located at the beginning of the game. Now here's another guy outside here between the barrels. Gonna get him. And I got three, there's only two left. And the other two, one of them is here in the uh, teleporter room A. But I want to hit the mystery box first. I'm still trying to get me my ray gun, which I'm hoping I can get. But unfortunately, I couldn't get it this time out of this box. I ended up going through all my points just about. 
and the box flies off. So that zombie, one of them broke loose, he finally came all the way around and found me. <laughs> he went all the way across the map to get me. So I'm going to trade up my little machine gun for the Stig 44, it's a little bit better. And then the box flies off on me. Kind of neat how they do that. <clears throat> so now they got this other little critter. Oh, I gotta kill the zombie for us. He's, he found his way around. I think he respawned. He got tired of sitting over there, so he respawned to try to find me. And there's another guy here between these two pipes. And I want to do the mystery box, but again, I didn't. Um, he wasn't here, but this is another mystery box location. And this is the last one. This is number six. Here until the part of room A. So I kind of went through the whole map counterclockwise to show you all the locations. And I got one more little guy to kill. But uh, I'm going to do this Hellhound round first and replenish my ammo. I'm going to take out these Hellhounds. I don't want them nipping at my butt while I uh, go off and get the last little guy. Just one more to get rid of. I should have just left him here in the room. But he probably would have found me. So I did end up doing another round in here. But I decided to uh, cut it out. And I left some zombies here this time. You can see the red skulls over there on the left. <coughs> I left them pinned here so they wouldn't... Uh, I want to get a new spawn. I have a whole bunch of zombies chasing after me. Here the box. I'm gonna get me my ray gun this time. <clears throat> then I'm gonna go out and do some zombie training because <clears throat> it is a new round, and the zombies are gonna start coming at me. Well, I'm sorry. I still got my uh, I still got my guys trapped in a room over there. I gotta go get the mule kick. That's what I'm gonna do. I gotta get this guy pat first. I like having me a nice papped ray gun, and then I'm gonna go. Uh, get the mule kick and come back to the box and see if I can get me uh, I'm get the wonder waff <coughs> I'm gonna talk about that wonder waff and show how to use it but first we gotta get the mule kick so I can get that third gun so I'm gonna have me a pretty good collection of guns I got the ray gun I got the big uh, my big alligator MG42 and I'm going to end up with the Wonder Waff. Which is a nice combination of guns to have. If you want to go for a long... A long run in this game. See how far you can go. Now here I have myself... Now this guy here is funny. He just, instead of coming over here after me, he went up that stairway and he went over here to check with his buddy. They say, hey, have you seen him? They say, yeah, you dummy, you just walked right past him. <laughs> He's right back there. <clears throat> and so he comes along too. And he went over, I guess went over and grabbed his buddy. He didn't want to attack me by himself. And here I'm thinking the mystery box wasn't working. <clears throat> just having myself another senior moment. <laughs> I didn't have enough points to open it up again. I got to learn to look at my points and see how many points I have. So I take these two guys out. And... Uh, I got me a papped ray gun now, so I'm going to go out in the big open area by the power generator and uh, do some zombie training. 
and uh, get myself some points <clears throat> so I can come back here and open the box again. <laughs> But it does happen sometimes. It's the reason I thought that uh, the box had jammed. And sometimes the box gets jammed and it won't open anymore. Now things you gotta do with the uh, zombie training is you always gotta keep moving. Keep running and running and running and try to round up the zombies. And you gotta be careful where you run. You gotta make sure you turn at the right time and, and find your way between the zombies. And just try to round them up and keep your distance from them if you can. Try not to cut the corners too close and don't let them get in too big of a bunch. I found if you get too many zombies out there you could end up with uh, you could end up in trouble. You may not be able to get around all of them or run away from all of them at once. So I generally try to take them down in groups of 10 or 12. And the other thing too is you gotta be careful when you're firing your guns, like especially the ray gun or the uh, Wonder Wolf. They damage you. If you fire too close, they can end up damaging you and not just killing the zombies. You can end up killing yourself. So I've got all my colas now. I've already managed to. I've already cut all that out of the video, so I wouldn't waste all this time. But I got all my colas. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to pull out the Wonder Wolf. I think it takes a couple tries to get it. Nope, I got it on the first try. Now I got three guns. Ray Gun, Machine Gun, and Wonder Wolf. So now I'm going to go get the... Uh, I want to get the Wonder Wolf papped, but it's a new round. And it would be kind of dangerous to run back to the Pack-a-Punch at the beginning of a new round. So I'm going to... Do another round of training, another round of zombie training, and then go get the gun tapped. And I took a few hits there, so I gotta be careful when I shoot my gun now. I'm gonna end up killing myself. But fortunately, I have the quick revive cola, which not only can be used to revive other players, but it revives your own health a lot quicker, about twice as fast. All the colas seem to double their abilities. Like the speed cola lets you uh, reload your guns twice as fast. Double tap gives you twice as much strength in your ammo. Juggernaut gives you twice as much health. So all I'm gonna do from here now is uh, after I finish up these zombies, I'm gonna get my uh, Wonder Wolf tapped. And then I'm going to go back here and show you a round with the Wonder Wolf. And what I do basically is the same thing. I round up the zombies in the groups. And then I'll turn and switch really quick to the Wolf. And fire the Wolf and kill them all. Now the thing about the Wonder Wolf, what's really good about it, is it's the strongest gun in the game. Apparently, even in higher rounds, it doesn't lose its strength. It could still kill the zombies with one shot. Whereas you start getting past round 30 the ray gun starts to lose its strength. It takes like four or five shots to kill the zombies after round 30. Even now at round 20, it takes two shots now to kill, take the zombies down. So all your other guns will lose strength as you go higher and higher in rounds. And it turns out that that Wonder Wolf is the only gun that can still kill zombies at a single shot at high rounds. <clears throat> so if you want to go to really high rounds, and I noticed this as a guy who has holds the record. He went 100 rounds in this game, which is just insane. But this is how he does it. He does the zombie training, and he uses the Wonder Wolf to take him down. It's really the only way you can get the really high rounds in this game. Is with that combination of Ray Gun and Wonder Wolf. So just run some distance, turn and shoot. Take them all out. So I had one zombie who was still kind of close to me. And you see the damage I took. It wasn't from that zombie, it was from the Wonder Wolf. And this is how you got to use it, because the Wonder Wolf has very limited ammo. And if you don't use it this way, and take all these zombies down at once, then uh, you run out of ammo. You can't go around shooting it one or two at a time. 
you gotta get them in groups. Anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you checking out this video. Check out my other videos. I've done a lot of videos on different zombie shooting games that might help you out. So catch me in the next one. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.